This week, scientists and volunteers are diving into Puget Sound to count rockfish. Several species are struggling to survive. Two are considered endangered. And this really impacts the entire ecosystem. Fox 13's Matthew Smith takes a look at what's going on and what's at stake if the fish don't rebound. All right, guys, this is Sunnyside Beach Park. It's a cold day. Make that a bitterly cold day. Yet volunteers like Joe Drelling and scientists with the Powa Marine Research Group are prepping to head towards dark, icy waters. Adam Obeza is a marine biologist leading today's expedition, a trip to survey year of young rockfish, basically baby fish. There are species or the species that people don't necessarily think about when they think about the Salish Sea, and uh, that's really too bad. And they used to be very abundant. This is one of four sites they are surveying today. Love it. In fact, this work is a bit of a blitz. Four times a year they do this. Brought together by NOAA, scientists and volunteers alike go under, looking for fish that, frankly, are getting harder to find. Many, many years of overfishing has set the populations down. With two endangered species of rockfish already, some places even have a moratorium on fishing them at all. The water that they're in right now, where they're surveying, is murky compared to some of the other sites across Puget Sound that they've been working in. In fact, you may be surprised at the amount of life underneath of all this water. These are the views in other locations the group has already been able to hit. For those of us above water, it's not what you'd expect. Uh, rockfish are part of an underwater symphony for the eyes, but as Obeza explains it, losing rockfish throws off that music, or in this case, the ecosystem we rely on. You might think that just some numbers of baby fish on a spreadsheet may not be that important, but it's really an integral first step, and when you lose that predator, then you have uh, a problem that could affect uh, a foundational species like kelp. Kelp, eelgrass, up to salmon and other predators. They're all part of a chain that rely on one another. It's why saving something like rockfish really matters. After emerging from this location... Hopefully they'll have better luck than the other one. We did not find any today. They came up empty. But there's a silver lining. I do see rockfish out here. This is an off-season for this location. All of it important, though. Data is far from done, because ultimately, rockfish can only be saved if you know the entire picture. What's going on in one part of the Sailor Sea might not be going on in another. Reporting in Stillicum, Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.